Mo most folks, that is, no internationally famous author Pearl Buck was born in Pocahontas County. Her birth home and a museum attract thousands of visitors, but in a special effort to recognize the author of books about China, there's a unique project underway at the local elementary school. News Watch 4's Bob Brunner has that story tonight. The Pearl Buck birthplace and museum is well known. Her Pulitzer Prize winning novel, The Good Earth, is about a rural part of China. Well now, fifth graders at Hillsborough Elementary are blogging with students from that very province in China. And they say they are learning a lot. What did you tell them about Pocahontas County? That um, it's like really nice because it's like not like a, like a really like big, like big bustling city county. It's just like a nice country county. See what we can, they do and in, in over there and they can see what we do over here. They have less recess and they're um, like 10 year olds are like in middle school and they're older and they have 10 minutes of recess in between each period. Wow. And they, some of them don't like sports, and their sports over there, their national sport is penguin. Well, we have a local um, author, Pearl S. Buck, and uh, she was born in Hillsborough, and the Anhui province in China is where she um, went to live as a child and grew up. And uh, so we are communicating back and forth with students that are in Anhui province from students in Hillsborough. The Pearl Buck Birthplace Foundation will soon be hosting visitors from China who are partnering with area farmers to learn about West Virginia's environmentally friendly methods of raising cattle, pigs, and sheep. And the author's birthday will be celebrated with a writing workshop. I think this project is great because we're getting these children interested in China and I don't expect them to learn to speak Chinese, it's just the concept where they understand children in other countries and they're at the right age to do this and this blog is of course something that's over my head but our teachers know what it is and the children are really into it and when the Olympics come up this year they will understand China a lot better and Pearl Buck did her writing in China and there's with her birthplace being right here in the community, there's a lot of connection that we need to put with Pearl Buck and the children understanding the Chinese children. And we have Chinese people who are planning to come here so they can meet them. It hasn't been too long since the idea of creating pen pals with young people in foreign countries was innovative. Now, these Pocahontas County youngsters are actually blogging back and forth with people from Pearl Buck's province in China. And one can only wonder if the famous author foresaw children in Hillsborough exchanging blogs with children in Anhui Province, China. Bob Brunner, Newswatch 4, Pocahontas County. And for more information on this year's Pearl Buck events, you can contact the Pocahontas County Historical Society in place. In Hillsboro was alive with music today, third, fourth, and fifth graders from Hillsboro Elementary working with the Pocahontas Music Association present a concert called Appalachian Spring. The organizer says it's really a memorial to the famous writer's mother. Uh, Pearl Buck's mother, Carrie, was loved music. And there was always music in the, it, with the family growing up. And especially uh, Pearl remembers that when they were living in China, every evening the mother would sit at the organ and sing all these wonderful uh, hymns. And actually, uh, Pearl's mother, Carrie, taught music to children at Hillsboro when she lived here. And you can catch a second performance this evening at 7.30.